Yeah. You know, for most of the night, we pitched really well, but we had the one tough inning, and that cost us. Charlotte's a good team. They swung the bats well, uh, especially in the fifth inning. So got to got to tip your cap. I thought there were some positives. Matthew Becker back out there as a starter uh, looked really good again, and you know, four innings scoreless. Uh, it was good to see CJ back out there again. Been a while since he's pitched. Uh, he gave us a scoreless inning, and Cam was really good. So. Uh, some positives tonight, but obviously we, we came out to win. We didn't get it done. Just, was there any thought about keeping Becker out there, or was the pitch count just a little too No, high? zero thought. That was that was the very very high end of what we were comfortable with. We wanted him to give, get us off to a good start, which he did, um, but he needs to be available for the Florida series and then hopefully for the SEC tournament. And just what did you see from Aiden and Parker there in that fifth inning? Yeah, they just made some bad pitches. And, you know, just when you leave the ball in the middle of the plate to, to good hitters, good, powerful, strong hitters like that, you get hurt. Yeah, what, what was the message to the guys afterwards? 11 o'clock bus tomorrow, be ready to go. It's Gamecocks versus Gators, and that's, a, that's special baseball, so be ready to go. Mark, you obviously got the, the weekend in front of you at Florida and then SEC tournament. I guess just w when you look at this team beyond just winning games, I guess what do you see as this team has to do to, to get to a regional, to, to put itself in that position? You just win games. I mean, we have three regular season games left and then the conference tournament, so we just need to go win. I mean, bottom line. How much does this loss kind of sting just from that perspective of knowing that there wasn't a whole lot of room for error. Yeah, I mean, every loss stings throughout the year. You know, I can go back to a number of losses this year and, and, and that felt like wins. And, and you know, it's just it, they all sting. Colin, they all sting. And uh, every win you're excited and you want to build on and every loss stings. And so tonight was just one of those that, that stung. And, you know, you just got to move on. Once you're in the SEC tournament, would you consider changing up anything in your rotation for the Florida series uh, so that you could maybe have Will start on Tuesday? Potentially, you... potentially. We'll, we'll evaluate it. Obviously, you know, you, you want to ensure, number one, that you are in that tournament. And then we're going to go game by game in terms of who we're pitching, how we're pitching them. And so, yeah, we will take all that into consideration knowing our, what our situation is right now. So everything will be on the table. Mark, I know you still got a couple games left and everything, but I guess when you look at this team and what they've gone through this year, I guess what do you, what do you feel like you've kind of learned about this team and, and yourself as a coach and, and the staff as well? Yeah, I don't want to get, get into that big summary of the season yet. I, I think it's probably a little bit too early. I respect your, your – uh, I, I, I respect that you're asking that question right now, but I'd, I'd rather wait till we get through the season and, and finish and see how we finish before I, I start you know, making an overview there. I guess that Rossi pitcher really kind of kept you guys at bay. Just what changed yeah. offensively after that fourth inning there? Well, the pitcher. The pitcher changed. I mean, that's, again, we talk about it all the time, pitching versus hitting and matchups and sinker ball versus a four-seam guy. And then there are certain pitchers we really do a nice job. And then there are certain pitchers that, that kind of have our number based on uh, the personnel we have. So just he came in. He did a nice job. He attacked us. He didn't walk anybody through five innings. And, and, and he, he just throws, he throws a, a tough pitch to hit when he's on. And, and he had good command tonight. Just your thoughts on the Florida series and a little preview from what you've seen of them and what you expect to see down there? Yeah, obviously it's a, it's a very storied program. Uh, it's a good team. Um, they've probably struggled a little bit more this year than, than they're used to struggling, but we know it's going to be very competitive baseball. We know they have a lot to play for, much like we do. Uh, so we expect great baseball. They're, they're uh, an intense group. Uh, you always get good arms when you face Florida. Uh, they've got one of the better power hitters in the country in Fabian. And so it's an athletic group. It, it's a group that they play some young guys just like we do. Um, so, again, I just I think it'll be really good baseball. And in all your years of coaching in college baseball, you look at Mississippi State. They won the national championship. Yeah. Now they might not even make the SEC tournament. Have you ever seen a team kind of go from top to bottom like that? Any, any thoughts about how that happens? Uh, you know, I, I don't know all the inner workings of Mississippi State right now, but I just think what that does is show the parity in, in college baseball. I think it shows that a couple injuries, I know they have a couple pitching injuries that have really, you know, kind of uh, steamrolled their season. And I just think it shows how fragile that when you're in the SEC, uh, when you lose a couple guys like they did, it, it steamrolled them. And it just, this league is so competitive. This league is, is so talented 
that when you're not at, at full go, it, it, it's a challenge. And I think to go from national champions to, as you mentioned, maybe they do, maybe they don't make the SEC tournament, I just think that shows what the SEC is these days. Okay, thanks everybody.